Leafs Nation, what's going on? It's Keel Augustine here, and I'm catching up with a good friend of mine, Mr. Steven Stamkos. Now, Steve, um, I don't know if you remember, but we had a moment a little while ago where we were both at the uh, draft in uh, Ottawa. Whatever team gets me gets the steal of the draft. We were both looking to get picked, and um, I think you got, you got picked pretty high, right? <laughs> pretty high. Yeah. yeah. And I'm wondering, do you have any aspirations of maybe doing some TV after you uh, finish your hockey career? Yeah, maybe. You know, I thought I did a pretty good job in, in interviewing you, and, and you did a great job of being one of the prospects. I was looking at the tape. I was breaking down your interview footage, and I saw some good things. I saw some great things, and I saw some things that maybe I could I could help you with. So what I'm thinking is maybe I give Steven Stamkos, you know, just some a, a few pointers on how to be a reporter, and you can give me a few tips on how to make my way back into the or into the NHL. Sure. Cool. Steven Stamkos here, reporting for Leafs TV, and as as you all know. Um, you know, our good fellow here did not get drafted in the draft last season. So um, let's see if he has some insight on, on why. So how, how do you feel about not getting drafted? I know it's, it's tough. Um, you know, it, it's an empty, hollow feeling. Um, it's painful. You know, looking back, it obviously was a tough process. But um, you're here now. You're looking good. Um, you know, I, I hear you've been training really hard. Oh, yeah. What, what's motivating you to get back, you know, maybe re-enter the draft this season? It's coming up at the end of June here. Vengeance. Vengeance. There was a lot of commitments. I heard a lot of things from teams. Um, I even heard, you know, you were 1B and I was 1A. So what's motivating me right now is revenge. So, you know, all those NHL teams that looked over me, meaning all of you, vengeance is on my mind. Okay, and, and let's say you do get drafted here. Obviously, you've been working hard past, you know, this summer, and you still got a little ways to go. Well, what's your goal? Are you expecting to make the big club, you know, the, the jump from, from juniors, or are you going to go in the minors? You know, what's your, your goal at the end here? Straight to the league, baby. No, no, we're not talking no minors. Not, I'm going straight to the league. I'm not even worried about the cup, really. I'm just going for individual accolades. I'm trying to get a couple trophies in that in that trophy case back at home. Um, I'm just I'm trying to get it all, trying to get a big check. That's what it's about, right? You know? Yeah, it's, it's all about the money. You, got, about, you got it. Yeah, yeah, it's all about the individual accolades and the cash rewards and the shoe deals. And that's what I'm going out there for. You know what? Well, folks, there you have it. You know, look for the, my man right here to be, you know, maybe the next Jerome Aginla. How's that? Aginla, here I come, baby. Yeah. I'm going to just give you a grade, and I'm going to say you're a natural. I don't know if you're so much of a natural at hockey. I think you should really bank on the reporting side because I think you got a brighter future there, so I'm going to go ahead and give you an A-. Okay. <laughs> I'll take it. Thank, Thank you so much, much.